Hey guys, Keith one here guys a video. Today, as many of you probably already know, it's December 26th, depending on when you're watching this video, uh, or depending on when I upload it, it's definitely going to be December 26th. Uh, it is currently 12.35 a.m. after Christmas, and uh, I've actually I've had a pretty busy day, uh, especially with the family, gifts, everything, just spending quality time with the fam, and just everything else. I didn't get a time to film this video. Uh... If I would have filmed it out of time, that would have been awesome, but didn't get the chance to. Uh, but without further ado, guys, let's get this all on. Before, obviously, uh, it's, it's past Christmas now, but to all those, Merry Christmas to all those, especially if you celebrate Christmas, and just Happy Holidays in general, you know? If you don't celebrate Christmas, well, just Happy Holidays, you know? It's a great season, festive, lights, brightening up the place, you know? It's just a very joyous place to be, and yeah, it's just awesome. So without further ado, guys, let's get into the haul. So... Starting from here, uh, the biggest thing I got was the Star Wars Millennium Falcon. Like I said, now I have not completely built this thing yet. Uh, I didn't really focus on this thing very much. Um, I built it for two hours today. Uh, spending time with my cousins. Uh, my cousins actually are pretty young, so <laughs> we didn't get too far with this. Uh, I mainly built it myself. I didn't want them like put the pieces in their mouth or anything like that, so I just put on the shoe off, uh, but not in the root way like that. Um, my cousin and my mom helped me build this, and uh, we're halfway uh, completed with that. Uh, it's actually downstairs in the living room on the table, still being built with all the pieces there, so I don't actually have it in my room, uh, but I have the box there. And uh, I also got this Star Wars The Old Republic Deceived, which is basically, um, I really like the character of Darth Malgus, so I had to ask, this, ask for this for Christmas, and I got it, and I'm like, really happy. I was able to get this. I also got, this is technically not a Christmas present, uh, since my parents love to get movies, um, but my aunt actually picked this up for me quicker than my parents did. Uh, it's the Steelbook of Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, and I absolutely love this movie. It was really good. Really good Mission Impossible film. Uh, now in terms of figures here, those are all the figures I've got. And I actually have two, two more on the way, um... That I use my Christmas and slash birthday money to pre-order. And uh, that would be the NECA Alien vs. Predator. Chopper Predator and Celtic Predator. Yeah, I think I believe it's Celtic. Not Celtic. I used to call it Celtic. Uh, but the Celtic Predator. Now, where are these figures? Well, they're all over here. Uh, I got the... Let's see if I can get a focus there. Got my Arkham Knight there. Fantastic figure. Got the Guavi Enforcer. Unmasked Kylo Ren. Which I did do a review on my channel. Check that out. I also have this Kylo Ren, which I did a swap with. And as you guys can see, I have the hood there. And yeah, Luke Skywalker back there. Now, I did take that Darth Vader. I bought that Darth Vader back in June. And uh, I pulled these guys. I had to do it. I also got the Flame Trooper uh, from the Star Wars Elite series. And I also got the Captain Phasma there, which is pretty awesome. It's just really hard to find the Black Series ones. I'm not a big fan of uh, Hasbro restocking those black, black series. My target, especially, just does not want to restock them. And I have a lot of targets in my area, so I'm kind of disappointed I wasn't able to find the black series ones, especially during Christmas. Called every day, went every day, but they finally restocked in Wave 2. No Captain Phasmus at all. It was a bummer. But this will be a good substitute. So, yeah, uh, looking at the packaging here, everything, you know, pretty much an over everything here. It's really good. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much my haul for uh, this Christmas. Uh, oh, wait, wait. I'm also getting one thing. Be right back. So I don't know how I could forget this amazing present. This is the iPhone 6S. I find it's actually my first phone, believe it or not, that I own. Uh, especially if you're being for being 16, this is the first phone I own. Uh, but yeah, I did get this, um, this awesome first order Stormtrooper case at Target. And I absolutely love this thing. It's awesome. I love it. So yeah, that is my Christmas haul. And uh, you guys probably, if you've been following my channel for a while, especially the uh, past month, I've, as you can see, I've been on a Star Wars hype and I have a couple of figures missing from there. Obviously here. Uh, and then my 50 quarter inch figures there. So I've been on a Star Wars binge lately. And uh, I, I thought I'd do a movie review. I was thinking of doing a, a film review for uh, the new movie, but so many people did already. And uh, I had friends over that day, so I decided, you know what, I'll just do it in this video. 
And uh, just my quick thoughts on the actual film itself. I can go on for hours, but long story short, wow. Uh, J.J. Abrams did a fantastic job with the film. I know a lot of people have been complaining about it being formulaic, and I don't actually mind that, you know? it's It feels like Star Wars, with the bright, the happiness, the banter, the characters, they just feel realistic, and they just feel real, you know? They don't feel like just soap opera material, just bland characters, like the prequels, you know? And I do like some things in the prequels, some things, but with the new movie, I just... It beats all the three prequels combined together. And uh, you guys probably might kill me for this, but there were elements of the, in, the movie, in the new movie that I actually liked more so than uh, A New Hope. Uh, in particular, Kylo Ren. Uh, Kylo Ren is probably my favorite character from the new movie, and I know a lot of people have been calling him an emo teenager. I don't really think he is. I think he's a really compelling villain. You know, he's torn apart, just conflicted between good and evil. It's just, I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but... She's just a really intriguing character, really complex too. And uh, I think he's, I know Darth Vader because of the prequels and uh, the progression of all three of the original films throughout you guys' development of his character, but in uh, A New Hope, you'd only get to know a little bit about him. And uh, all I got from him was just he was a really menacing in general. Uh, that's it. But no hate, Darth Vader is a favorite character, so. But Kylo Ren, man, I absolutely loved him. Uh, if I had to give The Force Awakens a rating, I'd probably give it a 4.75 out of 5. Close to being a perfect 5 out of 5. It's just the Death Star. Ugh! That's the only thing that irked me about it. So yeah, without further ado, guys, I just want to conclude this video. I gotta go drive in the morning tomorrow pretty early, so I guess I'll just head out right now. I uh, just want to wish you guys Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and everything. And just hope you guys are having a joyous Christmas break. Or just enjoying the break off or anything in particular, you know, whatever you guys are doing. Hope you guys are enjoying it. I do have more content on my channel. Uh, I definitely for sure will be doing the Predator reviews. Uh, but after that, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see where that goes. So, without further ado, guys, catch you guys later. If you guys want me to do any reviews on these figures, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Tell me, guys, what did you get for Christmas? I'm very curious to know. What did you guys get? Anything in particular you loved? And also, what did you think of The Force Awakens? I'm very curious to know. So, without further ado, guys, I'm going to hit the bed. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. Uh, more content in my on my channel will be coming in the future. Um, two reviews for sure. I'm not sure what else will be in the future, but uh, without further ado, guys, catch y'all later. Bye bye.